Hey YouTubers, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on these social media platforms. Enjoy the video. Okay, so this is something that I've been wanting to cover for the last couple of weeks. Just kind of a retrospective on Dragon Ball Super and one of the biggest things I think they did wrong throughout that entire series run. And that is, they really wasted Majin Buu's character. And it wasn't just not letting him fight. It wasn't just taking him out of the arcs itself. It was literally figuring out reasons why he wouldn't even participate in any of the tournaments or any of the fights that they could have used him for throughout this entire show. It really felt like the only thing that they really did with his character throughout the entire show was have him fight Beerus. And I think the choreography of that or maybe just the logic of it that was expressed during that fight worried them about Majin Buu's power in this series and what he would have meant for the story that they were trying to tell. It would have gotten way more complicated if they allowed this character to continue throughout the series. And if you look at it like that, I understand what they were doing, but the very fact that they had to acknowledge him at least at some point or at multiple points throughout the entire show really pinpoints this idea that yes, they understood the problems and they were really not willing to face it head on. They weren't willing to create characters such as Jiren or any of these other people that would be easily able to take him out. If you remember back in the Battle of Gods movie and also that arc, they painstakingly showed how easy it was for Beerus to take out people like Vegeta or Gotenks or Gohan. But Boo kept coming back, especially in the television show. He was durable enough to go up against a God of Destruction and make sure that he at least got his attention. No, he wasn't strong enough to beat the God of Destruction, but he was the one constantly getting back up and making sure that he fought Beerus. And then when Frieza came along and they name dropped Majin Buu that King Cole knew about it, Frieza knew about Buu, and that those two would fight. And as I've argued on this channel multiple times, that it would be amazing to see those two fight because at that point, we had no idea whether Frieza could sense energies or not. This was one of his biggest Achilles heel moments in the original run of Dragon Ball Z, and they needed to establish that, but they never did, and they never really made it very clear that Frieza just simply got the ability to sense power levels. What if Frieza didn't get the ability to sense power levels, at least in that first part of Fakatsu no F, and he used Boo, this person that his father taught him since birth never to fight against. Person who he should never try to interact with because he is so much stronger than anybody else in the entire universe other than Beerus, but he uses Boo as a leveler for his new powered form, something he hasn't actually used at this particular time, something he doesn't even know the full extent to. He hasn't used it enough in order to actually make sure he doesn't use a massive drain on that power. It's literally a test for him before Goku and Vegeta show up. Yes, Goku and Vegeta are stronger than Majin Buu. Frieza knows as much before he goes to Earth because he knows that Goku took out Majin Buu, but this would be an affirmation for him. It would be an indication for him visually for the audience that Frieza knows he is that much stronger than Majin Buu, and thus this new form is something that should be feared, not just by Goku, not just by Vegeta, but maybe even by the gods, and sowing those seeds for later down the road, and knowing that Frieza considers himself above the gods, even if at that point, knowing that he has this big flaw, is afraid of Beerus and maybe even Whis. That would have been amazing. And then it also continued into the Shampa arc, where they had Boo on the sidelines, and I think they realized creatively that this just wouldn't work. Boo is not the type of character who would go into any of these fights with Magetta or Botamo or Hit or Frost or Kaba or any of these other people and actually lose pretty easily. It was going to take a fight. It was going to be a struggle with that character based on all of his hack moves that he would have been able to use in that fight. And that's why they wrote him off both in the manga and the anime. And it felt like such a waste to even bring him to the fight to begin with. I mean, why do that unless they realize that this character is so OP, so hacks that he was literally going to break the story. I honestly don't know. And I really wish that they would have figured out a way around that. They created characters like Hit and Botamo and Kaba and Frost and all these other people in the Tournament of Power, even Zamasu and Black themselves, recreating what we knew about the Zenkai boost 
from Saiyans in order to make them able to fight Goku and Vegeta. Boo wouldn't have stood a chance against any of these people if they had written it right or they at least went the extra mile to explain why Boo was unable to actually defeat them or the fact that they realized that Boo was durable but they figured out a way to beat him either way. It would have been nice to actually see that. And most importantly, him falling asleep. I mean, obviously they actually just wrote him off, never showed him, and he wasn't even a real thing that anyone considered during the Black, Black Arc, and that's totally fine because that took place mostly in the future, and obviously you're gonna just bring Boo there just to fight Black. I mean, what would that prove? But the Tournament of Power, I think, is where it really came to a head and made it clear that at this point, Majin Buu's character, while an interesting one, and I will always argue for the fact that Majin Buu is actually an interesting character, and despite what any of the fan base might actually say about him, it became very clear that making him a good guy, they had no intention of this OP character to ever exist in a world where Dragon Ball's story actually continued to go. They completely ignored him in Dragon Ball GT, rightfully so, because enough time had actually passed. But during the time in Super, it makes absolutely no sense. You need to put him into the story, and they created a completely unrealistic character point with him basically sleeping through all the major events of the 10 year time skip that we've covered thus far in order to make sure that he wasn't simply there completely racking up the wins for Universe 7 in any tournament or anything that they might have actually happened during that 10 year time skip and during the time of Dragon Ball Super. So if you really want my opinion as to who the most wasted character in Dragon Ball Super is, then there you go, there you have it. Majin Buu is by far the most wasted character. They obviously do not know what to do with him, and I would be very shocked and super surprised if they come back with Dragon Ball Super in 2019 and have a legitimate character arc for Majin Buu. I wouldn't even be surprised if this character is hardly seen ever in the future. We know that he is completely unreliable to anything Goku and Vegeta or anybody else need him for, and that way, they don't really have to focus on him. We know him as a character at this point, and no one has to even think about him. He's not going to be a main cell. He's never, he never really was, and that is what we're going to be seeing in the future. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that there was another character that was more wasted in Dragon Ball Super? I know there's a lot of people who really want Gohan to have more shine. There's a lot of people who want Piccolo to have more shine, or any other character that you can think of or recognize during the whole thing of Dragon Ball Super, but Majin Buu and the narrative backflips that they had to do in order to make him completely worthless in every single freaking arc is just kind of infuriating to me and I really hope that they fix that down the line. I don't think they're going to. Anyway guys, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. And also, if you're so inclined, you can always go down to the description section below, hit that link, and go subscribe or follow me on Twitter because I am always on Twitter, guys. I read all your comments. I try to get back to as many people as totally possible, but if you want to be able to get in contact with me on a day-to-day -day basis, if you want there to be some communication between us, it'd just be easier to go on Twitter because I can usually get back to you pretty quickly on that platform. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You got to hit that bell, guys. You got to hit that bell. <laughs> anyway, I will catch y'all later. It's been real.